Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul, and in this short game into the com video, we're going to be analyzing the performance of deep learning super sampling on the NVIDIA RTX series of graphics cards. We're going to be utilizing the Gaming Z variant from MSI, which is a 2070 card, and we're also going to be using a, a Gigabyte RTX 2080 Ti. I'd like to thank MSI for providing us the RTX 2070 card, although the uh, Gigabyte variant is our own. With that said, we're going to be using the final uh, publicly available release of the Final Fantasy XV benchmark, and along with that, the updated NVIDIA drivers. We actually tested with a slightly older set of drivers and also the latest drivers which are available, and the latest drivers do provide a slight net performance benefit, so definitely do update before you run tests if you do have a 20 series of cards. Also, if you don't have a 20 series of cards, if you have an older GPU such as Pascal, do feel free to run the benchmarks as well using the same quality settings, because it will be interesting for us to get a set of comparisons. Now, so what is deep learning super sampling? I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes version right here. Uh, there are further uh, in-depth uh, pieces on the channel which you can check out if you so desire, but the Cliff Notes version is as follows. NVIDIA utilizes two series of images, one with up to 64 times super sampled uh, set of data and one with the alias, you know, janky normal resolution data. It uses a neural network on high-powered supercomputers to be able to compare the two and then upsample the images eventually and kind of do that on its own to get the best quality possible. It then uses this trained data and packages it into a fairly small file and then bundles it along with the GeForce driver. So basically, your GeForce card that you have at home does not need to do as much work because it has the trained data. And just like other neural networks, it's like, oh, okay, well, I kind of know what to do now. And at least in theory, we have a nice performance jump. Performance numbers, which made the RTX 2080 card much more impressive compared to the 1080. In fact, they said that the 2080 with DLSS enabled was the equivalent of two 1080 cards. Now, we're going to go through the performance in just a moment in depth because we have the 2017, the 2080 Ti, and we're going to be comparing this with 4K DLSS enabled and disabled with two different quality settings. And furthermore, I'm also going to throw in 1440p uh, results as well, just for the hell of it. And I have to say, the results are pretty darn impressive. Currently, it is only available on the demo, but very shortly, NVIDIA as well as Square Enix assure us it will make its way to the full game. This is despite the fact that the DLC for uh, Final Fantasy XV has been uh, cancelled. We will still see the DLSS update. And of course, there are a plethora of other titles which either have been released or will be released which will support DLSS. This includes, but not limited to, Darksiders 3, Hitman, Final Fantasy 15, and so on. It is a promising technology, and perhaps at least for the short term, does have a tangible uh, impact in not only the visual quality, but performance as well, because you get 4K-like uh, visuals, but with definitely less performance uh, impact. And with that said, let's go ahead and check that out. So what are my thoughts here? Well, honestly, I believe that DLSS is a very impressive technology. It's going to be interesting to see how other games implement it and what the performance impact is. But at least for the here and now, my mind is that I, I personally believe it's a very cool technology and I do wish more games developers will uh, implement it. It's going to be fascinating to see how it evolves over the next several months, but if this is any indicator of what type of performance we're going to be getting, it is a cool uh, bit of additional tech. It is one of those features which perhaps might sway you towards an NVIDIA graphics card. But that said, if you're on the fence between buying a 10 series card and a 20 series card, for example, the 2070 and 1080 or the 1080 and the 2080 or what have you, this may simply be one of the reasons that the 20 series of cards is a better idea. Because 
ultimately, DLSS is great performance boost. It is one of those things where I do suspect it's going to be one of those features you will want to use, especially if you have a native high resolution display. It's essentially very close to a 4K image, but with a drastically reduced footprint in performance. So in my opinion, anyway, it's a pretty cool technology. I'm gonna hold off giving it a full recommendation until we see it implemented in the full Final Fantasy game, as well as other titles, of course. But for the here and now, it's incredibly promising. Once again, I would encourage you all to give it a shot as well. With all of that said, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Normal stuff if you have, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're also on Patreon, which you can find us in the description of this very video. And you can also find an Amazon affiliate link. So if you want to buy like a set of pillowcases, do it through that and we get a few pennies and it helps out the channel. But of course you don't need to do that, but it is appreciated if you do. With all of that said, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.